Hey kids, my name's Jason and I work at NMAX and my job at NMAX is to make sure everybody's safe. But safety doesn't end at work because there's hazards all around us. Whether we're at work, we're at home, we're at the mall, we're on the bus, there are things out there that can make us unsafe and we can get hurt. So what I'm gonna talk about today are trips, slips, and falls. And some of the things to look out for when you're at home or at school. Let's go inside and talk about some of the things that we can do to be safe at home. One of the things to look out for is trip hazards. And things like rugs, like right here, these could be really dangerous and you could catch your foot on this and trip. And if you see something like this, right away fix it, then you're safe and the person after you will be safe. So another thing to look at when you're looking for trip hazards is things on the floor that might not normally be there. So in this case, we've got some cords here that are on the stairs and we've got some shoes. These could be real trip hazards because if you step on these in the wrong way, you could fall down and hurt yourself. So when you see something like this, take the time, stop, move it out of the way and make the area safe. As much as we love our phones and I love mine, these can be a real hazard. If you're paying attention to your phone when you're walking down the stairs or you're walking down the street, you could trip down the stairs, you could run into somebody, you could actually step out into traffic. Only use it when it's safe to do so. So when you're on the stairs like I am, put your phone away. And when you're on the street, walking down the street, put your phone away, keep yourself safe. The other thing to remember is when you're walking up and down stairs, use the handrail. These can keep you safe in case you accidentally catch your toe on the stair or you slip. And this is the best way to keep yourself safe when you're walking on the stairs. If somebody spills something or it's wet like that, water on the floor could be a real trip hazard. So it's very important to stop what you're doing if somebody spills something or you spill something and clean it up or call an adult and get them to help you clean it up. But don't walk away if you spilled something because if the next person comes and doesn't see it, they could trip and fall and hurt themselves really badly. One thing to be really careful about is, is snow and ice, and especially ice. In Calgary, as we all know, it melts and then it freezes and we get all kinds of ice on sidewalks and roads. And it can be very, very slippery, very easy to fall down. So when you're outside, be aware of your surroundings, take a look at where you're gonna be walking. And if you see ice, try and avoid it. And, and if you can't avoid it, walk very carefully, almost shuffle, kind of like a penguin. That way you can safely get across the ice because if you take big steps, you risk losing your balance. A good example of a falling hazard is something like a deck or a second floor in your house that has a railing. The railings are here to make sure you don't fall off of the floor. They're not here to lean over or to stand on. Because if you stand on the railing, you could lose your balance and fall down. Or if you lean on the railing, you could either lose your balance or the railing, which maybe isn't built to handle that much pressure or weight, the railing could also uh, bend over and you could fall over. Another hazard to be aware of around your house or at school are things that are higher than you that could potentially fall on you. So for instance, a bowl like this sitting on top of your fridge, you open the door, the bowl could fall down. Now that was just an example and that was an empty bowl. But if I didn't know it was there and if it was heavy, that could have hurt me really badly or hurt somebody around me. Thanks for joining me in my house and helping me identify things that I might trip on or slip on or might fall over or fall on me. Take a look around your own house and see if you can find some of those things too. Always be looking around and being aware of things that might be dangerous that you could get hurt on. So thanks again for joining me and for goodness sake, be safe.